Oil returned to $92 per barrel, the area where it was before Russia announced a ban on the diesel exports. Further developments in the market will now depend on tomorrow's data on the US crude oil and the gasoline inventories. If stocks continue to decline, nothing will prevent oil from rising to $100 per barrel. Besides, investor sentiment is likely to improve on the news that the United States lawmakers managed to avoid a shutdown by passing a stopgap spending bill. Until then, the market will probably consolidate around current levels. Amid increased speculative activity, oil prices returned to $92 per barrel, the low of the descending cycle. And from a technical point of view, such a steep decline in a short period of time may bring the asset into oversold territory and then lead to its rebound. However, if the price fixes below the 92 mark, Brent crude will most likely extend losses despite oversold conditions. Notably, OPEC Plus ministers are set to hold the next meeting this Wednesday. However, analysts do not expect any dramatic changes. The threat of a tight supply persists amid energy supply cuts by Saudi Arabia and Russia. In addition, recent data showed that China's factory activity grew in September, which improved demand prospects from the world's largest oil importer. Thus, the issue of a possible fuel shortage in the third quarter is still relevant. Meanwhile, gold continues to lose value, which looks mostly unfounded. Moreover, inflation in Europe keeps slowing faster than expected. Consequently, pressure from high interest rates will soon begin to ease. In theory, gold should have enjoyed the gains of course, its decline can be attributed to a kind of inertia. However, the yellow metal is deepening into local oversold territory, which may turn into a sharp rise. In this case, it will be difficult for the market to find equilibrium. The market may be rocked by a sudden surge of volatility. Sooner or later, sellers, due to oversold conditions, sellers will start locking in profits thus triggering a technical rebound. And the Russian currency suffered heavy losses coming back to the lows of early September. Obviously, the Bank of Russia and the Ministry of Finance failed to stabilize the market. Given the lack of follow-up comments from their representatives, the markets plan to rise 200 rubles in back on track However, a month ago, once the greenback approached this mark, the regulator began to take active measures. If nothing like this happens this time, the dollar-ruble pair will hit this mark within the next two days. If the price consolidates above 9850, the volume of loan positions will increase further, thus pushing the dollar up to the level of 100 rubles. The stock market continues to trade upwards, heading for the 3,200 mark. Nevertheless, there is a every reason to believe that this rally is largely speculative. After all, interest rates keep rising and the economic situation is pretty stable, but still far from being able to drive the stock market up. It rather looks like a market bubble that uh, is bound to burst. And that's all for now. We continue to follow developments in the financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and follow the news with us. And see you soon.